guys, so I hope you're doing well. So today's video is gonna be a first impression review on the KKW contour palette or contour kit. So I finally got my hands on it. I wasn't able to get the cream contour. After watching every single person's review, I felt like I did need it. And I'm not really a cream contour girl. I'm more of a powder contour. So I said I'm gonna make sure I get my hands on the powder contour when it does come out. I only got my own kit, which is meant to be the dark, deep dark shade. She, she named it the dark, deep dark shade. So it came in this plastic thing. I don't know, I just feel like it's, it's very, it's very, very cheap for the likes of her. But yeah, this is what it came in. So it comes in light, medium, and then deep, dark, deep. Deep, dark, deep. Deep, no, dark, deep, dark. I don't know. Yeah. This is what it looks like. And um, open it up, it looks like this. I'm literally going to go straight into reviewing it and that's going to try it out. I've done my face, but I haven't actually contoured, so which is why I'm probably looking a little light. So I'm, obviously, I need to bring back the warmth to my face. So this is what it looks like. Looking at it, first impression, honestly, it looks okay. It looks all right. Two contour shades. This one, which is looking a lot more the warm like a ready brown on camera I don't know if that's if that's right and then more of a gray now I really when people were saying there was like a gray tone I was expecting a really 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 gray tone but from looking at it it doesn't look that great to me and then there's two highlight shades and more of a pinky rose gold and a golden gold I really feel like the swatches don't do it any justice at all like looking at the swatches you feel like that's just gonna look really horrible on the skin but I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my actual face and then it comes with a double-ended brush one looks like it's an angled brush and then one looks more like a fluffy brush now to me looking at it already you can see how dense that is for a contour I would usually use something a lot thinner like that to contour with just because it's it, you know, I feel like it's gonna grab a lot of color and then this is meant to be for highlight. Usually I would not use something this thick or this wide or this fat for my highlight. So just imagine how much product you're gonna apply. So I'm gonna try and use this. I was told, yeah, once you apply the product, it does kind of, it picks up a lot of the color. So it is quite powdery. So I'm going to try and contour using this brush. Already as you can see it is showing up on my skin. So it's very very warm. I'm literally just using the edge of the brush because I feel like if I dip the entire thing it's going to go everywhere. So far I'm not seeing anything wrong with this product. What I should have done was to actually do one side with that shade and then the other side with the grey tone. To me it doesn't look grey and I feel like I already have a shade similar to this. I think one of my, either one of my sleek contour kits or my ABH contour kits look like this, looks like this. So uh, yeah. Okay, so because I have already, I've already used that side, I'm going to use this other side. Yeah, when you apply the product, it does, it does literally break up. It's quite powdery. So, okay, now I see why it, it's grey. It is, it is actually quite grey. As you can see, it does actually look quite grey. So I now, now I see what people are saying. So we're not going to use that shade. Okay, so that's definitely a fill. I'm gonna do my jawline. The brush is not too bad. I just wouldn't think to use something this fat, this thick for my contour. Okay, so I'm gonna do my forehead. So as you can see, it's honestly, it's doing the job. I don't actually have any problems with this so far. Interesting. People literally make you want to hate, make you want to hate a product 
you already have it in mind to completely bash a product and honestly so far like I don't see anything wrong with it it is suiting my my skin perfectly I know someone's gonna say oh why is your arm darker than your face is because whenever I have blonde hair it does make you look a lot brighter like on the hair it, the blonde is quite light so yeah just to let you know you know I'm not using the wrong foundation the blonde usually just makes your face look a lot lighter and obviously the lights as well um, kind of contribute to that too I literally set out to hate this product and so far it's doing the thing the only thing I really don't like is the fact that it is actually grey but I have seen some people who have said that they prefer the grey undertone for contouring the actually dark skin people on here so um, for me I just prefer to have something a lot more warmer on my skin and honestly this as you can see has done what it's supposed to do literally like I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna use that to contour my nose I'm gonna use take a quite a little bit of it because it is very very pigmented and contour my nose I feel like it's done the job. I actually like this. I like it. I really, really like it. Okay, so fair enough, it worked for me, but if you're a lot darker than me, like really, really dark, this will definitely not be a good shade for you. I feel like it'll probably be like your foundation shade. As a contour, it will definitely not work well. I mean, you can see on camera, it's not gonna work very well for a lot of dark skin, a lot more deeper skin women i'm gonna use a fan brush i really don't want to ruin my look so i'm gonna use a fan brush to apply the highlight there is a lot of there is a lot of fallout i don't know if, i don't know if you can see there is a lot of whew, fallout but i'm gonna highlight the highlight is pretty nice too I would say this is more of a subtle highlight. Is that subtle? It is nice. It is actually, oh, it's actually quite nice. The camera is picking it up well as well. So it is actually quite nice. Ooh. Okay. For the sake of the review, I'm going to use the rose gold one on the other side just to show you what it looks like. I usually don't go for like rose gold shades but we're gonna use it anyway I mean to be honest it's not so bad it is not so bad if you look at that it's not so bad I just prefer this to me just looks a lot more flattering on my skin tone the more the golden side just looks a lot more flattering on my skin too, but they're both quite nice. I'm going to take another brush, I'm going to highlight the, the bridge of my nose. Ooh, okay. That is very, very pigmented. So this is what it looks like a bit up close. This is the side that I had the gold highlight. And then this is the rose gold highlight. I don't know if you can tell the difference. So let me zoom in because I'm not sure if you could see before. I felt like everything was the same shade because my hair is blonde as well. So zoomed in, show you the contour. You can definitely build it up. Um, I was kind of scared so I thought let me start off light and then work my way up. So just to show you, just in case you couldn't see before. Honestly, I've got nothing bad to say. So you see me apply it you saw what happened when I applied this more of a cooler tone contour it did look a bit gray on me a lot of us dark skin girls are trying not to look gray both highlighters work really well as you can see it does glow it is quite a nice highlight you do see a nice contour it does give it does the job it does give me that shadow so when she swatched it on snapchat I was like mm. oh no oh no I can't believe this 
First of all, you should be swatching dark shades on a light skin arm because it's not, it's not gonna give a good representation of how it's gonna look on our skin tone. Obviously, that was kind of a put off for a lot of people. Like, mmm. Then the way she was kind of like just rubbing it on her arm just didn't look great. It looked very ashy. So look at the swatches, they don't look very flattering until you put it on your skin. My only issue is the fact that I don't know if she feels like every dark skin person can use the same contour shade and to be honest, I really can't be upset with her just because I feel like she's not someone I would say is a someone I would go to for beauty tips. I know a lot of people said that a lot of people have had her inspire their looks. You know, back in the day, the contour and highlighting thing was like a, it was like the whole Kim Kardashian trend. If she really wanted to capitalize on it, she should have done that like years ago. Right now, it's kind, of, it's kind of late. The contour game is already here and we've been there done that we have the t-shirt we have so many palettes contour kits as well so she's kind of lit on that she should have gone a lot darker here maybe she was trying to cater to both that some people might prefer a warm contour some people might prefer a cooler contour but on dark skin anything gray is just not flattering on us i would have preferred if she had gone a lot darker maybe still kept it warm got a lot darker or created another palette that um, was much darker than this basically like because like I said if This is a contour for me This will definitely be a foundation shade for the darkest skin I heard a lot of people were saying that medium the medium kit was too light and The dark kit was too dark It would have served her well to have come out with a palette or a kit in between the fact that it says dark what does it say again dark deep dark I feel like she's bunched, bunched two shades together. She could have split it up into dark and then deep dark. It's not just dark skin people who have complained. Judge her on her product, not on her as a person because her life, whatever she does with her life, her family, let them do whatever, whatever they want to do. But if I'm going to be purchasing and reviewing a product, I will judge it on how well the product performs. If it doesn't perform well, then I would say it doesn't perform well. Not because she's Kim Kardashian West, but because the product wasn't right. To me, this product has worked well for me. Should she have done her research? Definitely. Should she have used her friends, Malika, Khadija, the twins? Those are like a good example of dark skin women she could have used to maybe test out these shades when she was creating them. But like I said, she's not a brand that I would go to and I would like spend my money on. Is it worth $52? No, it's definitely not. Um, there's so many other contour kits in on the market that do a good job. If I had to pick, I'd only pick two out of four. Two out of four of the shades in here. So for $52, it is quite a lot. I really wish she maybe didn't include the brushes. The brushes are not the best. This does blend well though. I feel like it does blend well. But for a contour brush, maybe not so fat, not so thick. Maybe slightly more tape, slightly more like that. I feel like a lot of people were hating even before they even got the palette because obviously who she is, it's a shame. I can't, I cannot come and kill myself. Like it's not that deep, it's just makeup. Yes, yeah, she, she should have come out with more shades, but honestly, I have so many other brands, so many other products that work, so many other products that already work. So why kill myself over this? Like I wasn't coming from a bashing place. I felt like a lot of people were ready to like, yes, we're gonna, I'm gonna go for her. Like. It, like I'm not actually try the products for what it is so it's up to you what you want to do for me I wouldn't repurchase again I bought this with my money $52 plus shipping plus import charges it's a no from me I only really benefited from two out of the four shades in this kit so for me it's not worth it but if you do want to try it still if you're about that life and you have, you like it or you're just a fan then by all means get it this wasn't a bashing video I'm afraid I just I feel like I would critique a brand or a product for the product itself but not not the person behind it so um unless you're a jeffree star i would do more review videos if you have more review videos you want me to do let me know and i'll get right on to it make sure you subscribe to my channel as per usual you know the drill so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys